Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel and the first tanning trials of 2021. I need to stop saying that at the start of every video because I'm just going to keep saying it every time I do something new. I promise you this will be the last time. So in this week's video I tested out the new Bondi Sands tanning range. This is the Pure Collection I believe it's called. I only have a couple of the products here that I tested out but I believe there are a couple more on the market. First one I have here is the Pure Self Tanning Facial Mist and then I also have the Pure Self Tanning Foaming Water. I tried both of these products together and this is what I have to say about them. The foaming mist retailed for £15 and the tanning water retailed for £16. I picked up the light to medium version of this, however there is a dark version as well. The tanning mist doesn't have different shades unfortunately, but there is also another option I believe of tanning drops, which if you want to get a little bit of a darker tan, that might be the better option for you. Like always, before you get started, I'll put some clips on the screen of what my skin looked like before I applied the tan. Before these clips were taken, I'd already exfoliated, shaved, moisturised, all of that good stuff, everything you need to do before you start tanning. As you'll see from the clips, I did actually start the tanning process by applying the mist to my face first. I decided I was gonna do that just because I wanted to make sure I got a nice and even layer also as well with the mist I didn't want it to leave like splotches on my skin anywhere because I know sometimes when you apply fake tan and say if you like wash your hands and some water droplets get onto your skin it can kind of make the layer that's developing on your skin go a little bit funny and leave it a little bit patchy so that is what I did on this occasion obviously this is the tanning mist here the packaging for the whole range is really nice it's really fresh it's very just simple which I think is what they're obviously trying to translate for the pure collection it's very much got a stripped back theme compared to the other products that they do have and I quite like that idea actually. It just kind of makes it feel like you're not putting unnatural things onto your skin even though you are because fake tan. <laughs> The actual packaging for this product I found really interesting because you'll see from the clips the nozzle just looked really funny. Like when you get any new products that have a pump on it, you do have to kind of like twist it and keep pumping the product quite a lot. Um, you don't need to do the twisty thing with this even though it really looks like you do, but you do need to kind of like pump it quite a lot before the product comes out. Also another thing that I will say is make sure you shake the product, you should always do that unless it states otherwise. But this mist has quite a strong and a very lengthy spray if that makes sense. It recommends on the bottle that you hold this product about 15 centimeters away from your face. I think because naturally my arms are quite like lanky and gangly that I did more than 15 centimeters but oh my goodness I'm so glad that I did because the spray is very powerful and it also travels quite far. Compared to some of the facial tanning mists and sprays that I've used in the past this one is one of the better ones however even though it's a water-based formula it did clog my pores a little bit especially on my chin but also a little bit on my nose which is quite surprising because normally my nose is like the worst place. I'll show you some pictures of what I mean but it did kind of clog my pores which is, is not the end of the world, but it is kind of a little bit unexpected because the formula was so light. That was kind of the only negative thing I wanted to mention about that. Also as well, don't spray too much because it might end up dripping slightly, but you can quite easily rectify that by just using like a tanning mitt to pat the product into your skin. They also do recommend that you do that to try and get like a deeper tan. It's no different to when you're using like those jade rollers and stuff to push serums like deeper into your skin. Exactly the same concept, just with the tan. I really like the formula for this because it felt very light, literally like spraying water onto your face. I forgot to mention earlier, but both of these products do have a recommended at least six hour development time, if not longer. So yeah, applied that first. I also did a quick spritz on it to my neck, but I kind of didn't really need to do that because it sprayed like this part of my body it was crazy so so glad that i did that first but yeah i would recommend that you do the tanning water first before you apply the tan to the rest of your body probably not that big of a problem because i imagine the formulas are very similar like they are both very light formulas but yes moving on to the firming tanning water this really confused me for a sec I don't, it's it's just it, the bottle was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be as well I wasn't sure how it was going to work when pouring it out but literally all you do is shake it it has like a funny kind of nozzle on the top of it where it's got the main nozzle and then some smaller ones to help to encourage the product to foam up before you put it onto your mitt applying the tanning mousse to my body it felt almost like a slightly thicker water consistency if that makes sense obviously there was the problem of it's a clear foam I don't know where I've put it, but you can kind of tell because the formula leaves your skin feeling and looking quite wet. Literally as if you've just like rubbed water on like a sponge or a mitt onto your skin. It's kind of the same concept and looks very similar. So that was kind of the way I distinguished where I'd applied the product versus where I hadn't already. Like with any
any clear tanning product, you are just gonna be extra wary of if you have applied enough, where you've applied, if you haven't applied enough in some areas and too much in others, like you just kind of have to trust yourself and just hope for the best. Like I've mentioned in multiple different videos, I do have a problem with fake tan clogging my pores. This, however, didn't really do that so much. With my legs, there was a slight bit of strawberry effect, I guess you would call it. There was a couple of clusters of like clogged pores, but nothing major compared to some of the ones that I've used in the past and been like, oh my Jesus, we've got a problem. Didn't clog any of the pores on my chest or on my neck, which is another place where I do really struggle with this problem. It applied really evenly, streak free. I literally just used the normal Bondi Sands mitt that I had. The only thing that I will say is unfortunately, some of that tanning water did seep through onto the palms of my hands. Got a nice stripe there. Also the tips of my fingers, which aren't so noticeable, but I do have a slight line here as well. Not really that bothered about it just because we are in the middle of a pandemic at the moment and probably by, I would say, tomorrow, if not sooner, that will be gone just because I wash my hands constantly when I'm like out and about, at home, at work, whatever. So really not that fussed about it, but the fronts of my hands are really nice. Please excuse my nails. I'm trying to get my acrylics off and I physically can't. If you know any tips and tricks that I may not have tried, please leave them in the comments because I need to get these nails off. I cut them right down and I scrubbed the top layer of acrylic off thinking that that would maybe make them prize off. No, it didn't. They're still there and they're still, um, very much there. Please help. Someone send help. <laughs> oh yeah, my hands literally look really nice and normal. They applied very evenly over my fingers. I just used a... Hello? I just used like my normal brush that I apply tan with onto my hands, on my feet. My feet are also as cool as can be. Ankles, absolutely fine. Kneecaps, good to go. My elbows are absolutely fine. You can literally see to my armpit. <laughs> So once I'd applied the tan, I let it sit on my skin for probably about five to 10 minutes just to really make sure that it dries down as much as possible. One good thing about using the clear tanning products is that they don't transfer onto anything that you can see. I applied this tan probably around about 9, 10 p.m. last night and then went to bed. Even though my skin felt kind of tacky, it still felt dry enough for me to go about the rest of my evening and do what I needed to do. Obviously, I still did the usual like loose clothes Moving, you know, trying to be careful when I'm in bed, but didn't really need to. Both of the products don't really have like a scent of any kind because both products recommend that you let it sit for at least six hours, obviously. My preference is to apply tan and then go to sleep to really let it marinate overnight. And I washed it off in the morning, even though when I applied it initially, there wasn't really a scent to the products at all after they were on my skin. There was a little bit of a faint, fake tan smell before I washed it off, but after I literally rinsed my skin and like, washed my body and whatever, it was absolutely fine. I don't smell of anything at all other than like my normal person scent, if that makes sense. Looking at my body as well, I think the color payoff was really good. It looks very natural other than this scenario which is going on here but that will be rectified within a couple of days anyway like I'm not worried. It does look relatively natural I think. Very nice and even coverage pretty much all over my body. Really happy with that as well. Like I mentioned there wasn't much clogging of the pores which is also great other than on my chin and on my nose. The nose is to be expected but the chin was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be but that just may be like user error on my part because I sprayed too much. Since showering and rinsing off the guide layer of the tan my skin feels relatively hydrated. It's no drier than usual but not any more hydrated than usual. Sometimes with tans I wake up and my skin is like really nice and juicy and hydrated and I love it. Sometimes I apply tans and it's dried down so much that my skin is really thirsty and definitely needs to be moisturized. Not really sure if there's anything else I need to mention. I think we're all good and we've covered all bases. But that is it for this week's video. Testing out the new Bondi Sands Pure Facial Tanning Mist as well as the foaming tanning water. If you enjoyed this review, first tanning trials of 2021. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know it really does help me out a lot. Also, I'll leave links to these products and also the other ones that I've mentioned in this video down in the description below for you as usual, along with my social media. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on those. Instagram mainly, but I also have a TikTok and a Twitter. Also, if you haven't already, for whatever reason, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I have a whole series of tanning trials videos similar to this. So if that's something that you wanna carry on watching, I will leave a link to that playlist at the end end of the video for you. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay indoors as much as possible, especially if you are in the UK because it's getting a bit scary here. Wash them hands and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye guys! Ugh.